First you draw a circle, and then you dot the eyes. Add a great big smile, and presto, it's Kirby. Oh, <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Josh Kell, and this is my next play, um, Let's Play Kirby's Adventure for the NES. And uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've recorded, so it's going to be interesting to see how this goes. Um, yeah, to get to the story, uh, we've got to wait for this demo to go, well, to finish. Um, 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 <laughs> I say um too much. See if we can do anything out that. I don't promise anything, though. Um, <laughs> there we go again. Um, right. Um, so everything I said in the last episode, of my Bonnet Commando episode, is really outdated now because what I've done is my brother got his expert team of guys to find a way to compress videos for me. And not just crap. From Bionic Commando Part 2 to the final part, I've been compressing the videos, and I reckon they still look pretty good, pretty much exact same as the the um, non-compressed versions. So yeah, I'm pretty much good to go to upload them at my house now, and I can just upload a video every day. So it's going good. So this, yeah, this um preview thing is pretty much just showing us the power-ups of all the power-ups Kirby can get by sucking in enemies. And I'm sure most people actually know how Kirby works and suck in anything and gain its abilities. And yeah, I don't think that has this, uh, yeah, I think this is like the second last one, I'm not sure. Fireball. I don't know, I don't really use Fireball that much. I mean, it's sort of useful if you use it right, but I really don't know. I don't. Well, I wouldn't know which power-up I use the most, really. Anyway, um... Yeah, no, I don't know. So, um, yeah, this is another one of the NES games that um, my dad bought before I was born, and... I've had a lot of fun with this game in the past. So here's the story. One day, the peaceful life of Dreamland was shattered by a mysterious crisis the inhabitants didn't dream. Which I that's awful, that is really awful. On the edge of Dreamland, dreams and hope once pushed forth from the dream string spring fueled by the star rod. Ah, oh, that thing. Investigating the dream string, Kirby found naughty King DDD swimming in its magical waters. Uh, they really need that announcer from Kirby's Epic Yarn to read this. <laughs> DDD had broken the Star Rod and given the pieces to his friends, who are now hiding in Dreamland. To bring back lost dreams, Kirby sought the Star Rod. I'm assuming the Star Rod's that thing from that's in the Super Smash Bros. game that you can use as a weapon. Um, yeah, so we'll just start this now. <laughs> I guess I should delete one of these files. Uh, yes. Yeah, I guess this is one of the rare NES games you can actually save. So, level, well, world one, really. I guess I didn't really know what a level was back then. Yeah, every, um, world introduction has, like, a short thing like that. So, anyway, um, yeah, here's, like, the world level selection, with the world level area selection, and all we can really do is go to level one now, so that's what we will do. Alright, this is the first level, and... First enemy, suck in, get a beam. Which is pretty nifty. Well, I don't think it's the probably not the best weapon, in fact. Like, that's another one. I guess you don't really need the power-ups in this game that much. Um, you can pretty much suck in everything you want. And there's really nothing that can stop you. So, uh, power-ups are just like a bonus thing, I guess. Ah, see, now there's a hidden thing, like, right down here, that most, I'm assuming most people don't know it. <laughs> and that's why they probably don't, because it's so easy to kill yourself there. Ugh. Oh. Guys, is this, like, going to be a tradition for me, just to continuously die in places I normally wouldn't? Anyway, yeah, I guess I'm, so, nothing, well, I guess I didn't have that for that long. Alright, let's try this again. There we go, hidden door. And here's a UFO, which normally you will not see this this early in the game, unless you know this is here. 
It can do the laser if you just press B. If you hold it down, you can shoot a star. And if you hold it down for even longer, you can shoot a powerful star. And so this pretty much just allows you to like breeze through the rest of the first level. I actually watched two other Let's Plays of this and they both missed this UFO power-up, so... I don't know, I guess that means I know where more stuff is. No, I don't want to brag or anything, but... I don't know, I just thought that was interesting. I, think, I don't think it's that hidden. You get, There is actually... Like, I think a bit of the wall's more white, so... Like, that's how I am. I found it in the first place. I looked odd, so I went to investigate, and there's a hidden door. But anyway, yeah, the levels in this aren't really that long. So here's the exit right here. And you press A, right as it gets to the bottom, to get up to the top one, which I failed to do this time. But I suppose if you're after points, you do want the second top one, because what's a life doesn't give you points, I don't think. But, um... Yeah, I'm not sure how many levels per episode will get done here, but here's one of the mini-games to get lives. Uh, Crane Fever. This one is sort of like those stuffed toy machines, I guess. The small Kirby is worth one life, and the fat Kirby is worth two lives. Uh, I think that's good. So, um, all you have to do is hold A and let go of A when you're in position to pick it up, I guess. Uh, the high, the high difficulty ones... The crane machine mini games, I mean. Um, the crane will move faster. So, uh, this is only level one, so it goes pretty slow, so it's pretty easy to get two big Kirby's. I think I got that, I'm not sure. Yeah, if it goes like that, it's probably gonna fall off. Not this time, though. That's a. So, that's the best result you can actually get from these claw machines. Four lives. Alright, so on to level 2. Um... Yeah, I... I kind of wanted to LP this game from the beginning, but I was kind of unsure about it because... Like, it's just a simple side scroll. I... What can I say? There's really not much. Like, I can comment on the enemies, like that spike thing will hurt you, but I'm really... What can I say? But, you know, it's one of my... I don't know, <laughs> cherished games from my childhood, so I figured I may as well give it a go. Yeah, I, I if <laughs> if I don't cut out me singing at the part, I aim to start. Oh, oh, here's a mini boss type thing. <laughs> anyway, I'll continue what I was saying before. If I don't cut that me singing out at the start, then you will hear that. Oh, obviously. And I actually had a hard time trying to record that because, well, because how it works is that'll play as soon as you turn the NES on. And so what, and like if you press the reset button on the NES, it won't play that part again. It'll just skip it. So what I pretty much had to do was like turn the NES on, which is, um, I might take a picture of my room sometime because the NES is all the way over on the left of my room and the the SNES is like next to it and just goes like that. And I haven't really showed like this power up. It's of one use. You just use it to pretty much kill everything on the screen. So that's pretty useful. If you don't like killing things. Yeah, a lot of enemies actually give nothing. Um, my setup is what I was talking about. Um, yeah, so I'll probably just take a picture of that so you see that. It's really not, not um... Well, if every Nintendo system is next to each other, really. It's pretty simple when you think about it. Um, oh yeah, there's another secret in this room, I think. It's actually been a while since I've played this game, actually. Um, yeah. Well, I sort of played it... Oh, it's not start to get rid of your power, up, select. Uh, it's here? Yeah, here. What's in here? It's the one up there. Nothing that great. So yeah, and here's the exit of this level. They're really not that long. But they are enjoyable. And that's actually quite a nice level length, really. Not too long, not too short. Hmm. No, oh, I didn't get to one again. <laughs> yeah, um, like I think I was saying before, the... Yeah, I did actually play this game recently for a bit because... As of me recording this video in uh, May 19th, 2013, um, 
not 2011. <laughs> um, it is available on the Wii U shop for for 30 cents in well in Australia. I'm not sure about anywhere else. But yeah, so I got that. I played it for a bit. Um, I didn't really need to get it since I have it on NES. But I figured why not? It's 30 cents. That's nothing. Yeah, I also got Super Metroid for 30 cents, which um, I don't actually own that, so... Uh, that was pretty nifty. So here's that Fireball. You're pretty much invincible while you use it. Really... I think some stuff might still be able to hit you, but... Mm, pretty much nothing else. Well, nothing can, pretty much, I think. In, in, when you're in the water, you actually can't use any of your power-ups. You, you can only spit the water. Which, um, I think at a level in World 5, you have to, like... I don't know, if you want a secret, you'll have to go through the water without losing a power-up or something. <laughs> Again, it's been a while, so I'm not really sure. But... If that is, we'll see it when we get up to it. Um... Ah, here's the finish. Yeah. These are really... No game these days has levels that are this short, and it's kind of refreshing, to be honest. Like I think I've said before, and I failed to get one um to tier one again. I guess is what it's called. Ah, over here, I'm, this is a museum, I think. Yeah, a museum, which is pretty much just a come in here to get the power up that's on display, and you can come in here and grab these as much as you want. So if I go out and back in. Ah, uh, another sword will be there. And I think there's one of those in every world. I'm not really sure. Probably have enough time to do a few more levels. I'm oh, sorry, I got something in my throat. Oh. Ah, uh, anyway. Oh, here's another mini boss. Damn, I, I keep forgetting what I was gonna say. And then I'll look at the recording later and go, oh, you idiot, that's what you were gonna say. Ugh. <laughs> um, oh, I think I'm supposed to suck these up, yeah. <laughs> Silly me. Yep. You just hold down B until he throws on if you want. He's really not that threatening in any way. But, um, yeah, this is a pretty useful power-up, I guess. Freeze, you just, like, freeze things. Pretty much instant KO. And you can also push them into other things just by touching them. <laughs> so the rest of this level is a breeze. <laughs> oh, that was pretty bad. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. At the end of the world, each world there is a boss. That I'm not. I'm not sure if you, if it's when you get a hundred percent or if you when, you when you just finish the game. But when you do do one of those, I'm not sure which it is. There will is a boss rally mode where you can fight all the bosses in a row, which I have cleared once actually. I spent quite a while. Meta Knight, gee thanks, invincibility, how nice. Yeah, I spent actually like a few hours of trying that over and over again because I wanted to see if you got anything for doing it, which of course you don't. But um, I might show that in like a bonus episode after this finishes. If, if, I don't know, if I feel like it really, because like I said, you don't get anything for doing it, it's just pretty much every single boss in a row, and you only have the uh, six health to do the whole thing, and we're actually up to the first boss here, now that's a warp, so you can get to any world from here, but it's, as we're only at the first world, that we can't use it yet. Now the first boss is, um, in a... A tree. I'm, I I haven't actually played the original Kirby Game Boy games. I should get around to that actually, because I'm pretty sure he's in them too. Uh, if anyone uh, looks at my channel, the, the art is like Kirby jumping like here. I think. Huh, I'm not sure really. And that yeah, that's a simple boss, and that's. Pretty much world one done. There are actually some levels that are oh, here in uh, Ice Cream Island. I, I guess Kirby wants <laughs> uh, those animations always the fun. Now, what was I saying? 
Right, right, some levels actually do have secrets in them to, like, unlock, like, a bonus thing on the level select area, but we will have to save that for next time, as I'm not sure how long this video has been going for, because I started the recording timer, like, before I was going to start talking to get that opening thing in there when I sing. <laughs> oh, I'll probably definitely leave that in now. <laughs> So, um, yeah, th thank you for watching this very much, and I will see you next time. Take care.